Well, hello everyone. It's so good to see you again. Have you ever had a day where you can't stop thinking about sweets? Well, I'm having one of those days today. And I can't think of a more suitable story time than Kami Kangaroo Has Too Many Sweets by Stacy Bauer. A story about a mischievous little kangaroo who loves treats almost as much as I do. And without further ado, Sit back and relax. Rest your head, your nose, and your toes. Open your eyes and open your ears. Put on a smile and enjoy the show. All was calm in the kangaroo house. Mummy was putting baby Wyatt down for a nap. While Kami Kangaroo was having quiet time in her room. At least, she was supposed to be having quiet time. Instead, Kami's brain was buzzing. She could not stop thinking about treats. Candy, cake, cookies, ice cream. Kami loved them all. She knew a great place to find treats at her house. The freezer drawer. Kami hopped down the stairs and over to the freezer, grabbed the handle and pulled it open. After placing the ice cream into her pouch, Kami Kangaroo hopped quickly to the playroom and locked the door behind her. Kami Kangaroo scooped out a little of the ice cream and stuck her paws into her mouth. It was the best ice cream she had ever tasted. She lost track of time as she tried more and more of that delicious ice cream. Cammy, her mummy called. Cammy froze. The playroom door rattled and slowly opened. Mummy sighed and said, Ah, come here, Cammy. We need to have a little talk. Kami, it's not okay to sneak treats, Mummy Kangaroo said. Treats have sugar and can cause cavities. You have a dentist appointment coming up. Next time you want a treat, you need to ask Mummy or Daddy first. Do you understand? Kami nodded. But the very next day when Mummy took Wyatt upstairs for a nap, Kami started thinking about treats again. She quietly made her way back to the freezer drawer. But this time, it wouldn't open no matter how hard she pulled. She hopped into the pantry searching for more goodies. The top shelf, that's where more treats were hidden. After Mummy caught Cammy eating sprinkles in the playroom, she removed the lock from the playroom door and put it on the pantry door. Cammy still didn't give up. She found the cupcakes that were hidden on top of the refrigerator and licked off the frosting. Then she ate Daddy's secret stash of chocolate bars that were in the drawer next to his bed and hid the wrappers behind her dresser. She even found the pan of brownies Mummy hid in the microwave. Every day, Cammy found some way to sneak a treat. Soon after, it was time for her dentist appointment. Cammy sat in the big dentist chair. After the hygienist cleaned and flossed her teeth, the dentist came in to take a look. The dentist said to Mummy, Well, I'm afraid she has four cavities. Cammy, do you brush and floss your teeth every day? Cammy nodded. Have you been sneaking treats again? Mummy asked. Cammy didn't say anything. Cammy, it's very important that you listen to your parents about treats 
so you don't get any more cavities, said the dentist. I'm going to let you choose a new toothbrush and some floss. Do you think you can stop sneaking treats? Cammy nodded and said, I'm sorry, Mummy. Mummy gave her a hug. The dentist let her pick out a new toothbrush and some floss. Then Cammy and Mummy Kangaroo headed home. When they got home, Cammy bounded quickly into the house to tell Daddy about the dentist. She caught him and Wyatt sitting on the couch with a big bowl of ice cream. Mummy laughed. I think it's safe to say this whole family has had too many sweets. It's time to change our habits. Let's start with a healthy dinner. Cammy sure was a clever little kangaroo, wasn't she? Not much could stand in the way of Cammy and her treats. I just hope she does a better job of brushing her teeth before her next visit to the dentist. Which reminds me, I should go brush my teeth before I go to bed. Until next time, my young story timers, this is Mr. Whiskers saying meow and good night. Hello everyone, Mr. Whiskers here. Enjoying our story times? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss a story. And tell your friends so they can join in the fun. Goodbye for meow.